another wig review wig review video for you guys i'm gonna be doing a curly unit because i know y'all tired of seeing them straight units so i got sent a beautiful wig from isn't it so pretty ash and mary here they sent me this beautiful wig it came with some goodies it came with some lashes y'all need to some actually some really cute lashes so these are the lashes that they came with i wear lash extensions so i don't need those but whenever i do get Oh, okay, J.D. Young is just popping up on the screen like that. And they gave me a wig cap, which comes in handy because I don't be feeling like running to the hair store. They gave me some cute little reindeers. These are cute, y'all. These are perfect for the holiday season. And they gave me one of those cute little wig clips that are like in now with the design. So yeah, Ash and Mary here, thank you so much. They sent me a 13 by six. What, what's this bro what's what's that <laughs> i don't know they sent me a 13 by 6 um inch lace frontal wig this wig came this is like straight out the box i haven't bleached the knots i'm gonna show you guys how how i bleach my knots in this video what about the wig girl okay so this is the wigs how she came she's this beautiful water wave so pretty oh my goodness that's such a pretty hair texture she's 13 by 6 lace let me go ahead and show y'all all of this goodness so yeah, this is the lace on the inside, 13 by six. Very, very nicely constructed. One wig comb in the back, two on the sides. Y'all know I use my wig comb, so those will definitely be getting utilized. This is how the lace looks, unbleached. Okay, we can use a little bit of something, yeah. Okay, so that was a really weird, strange, abrupt to sound, I know. But I'm just showing you guys how I bleach my wigs. Um, I use 30 volume developer and the BW2 bleach. And I also use a little bit of foil. And I just go ahead and mix that to a kind of watery consistency. So I can really get that bleach to seep into that lace. And get on top of those knots. Because, yeah, that's, that's the whole point of bleaching your knots. Is so you can get on top of the knot. And it looks very, very natural. Don't be scared to make it watery, y'all. If, if you get it on the hair, you can easily like if you see it gets on the hair you can just add water on top of it and like kind of like wash it off piece by piece or you can use got to be or you can use even like go back over it with hair dye so don't be scared to really get on top of those knots um i leave that bleach on for about 15 to 20 minutes just keep a close eye on it and yeah i'll be back as soon as i'm done bleaching the knots all right so i've been like customizing this wig and it's not necessarily laying as flat as i want it to so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wrap it overnight like this and then tomorrow i'm gonna um finish um customizing it and stuff so it can lay down perfectly flat flat and then i'm just gonna come back with the rest of the video tomorrow okay okay Welcome back. Um, so I did go ahead and let my wig sit overnight. And I was actually in the middle of cutting my baby hairs when I realized that I have to like record myself cutting the baby hairs. Maybe that'll be helpful. So I've already did this side. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this side and um, customize it. Okay, so I really have to work on these transitions from regular video to voiceovers. But here I'm just showing you guys briefly me cutting my baby hairs. I do have a video on how I lay my lace and cut my baby hairs in detail if you want to check that out. I'm doing the same method here. Just to let you guys know, I did have to put a little bit of foundation on the other underside of that lace to get it to blend. And I'm putting a little bit on top. And so after I'm done laying these baby hairs um, with my mousse, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap my hair for about 20 the 25 or 30 minutes just doing you know just doing random stuff while my hair is wrapped and then i'm going to take it off and show you guys the final result welcome back y'all okay so this is the finished look of the lace this um this lace did come a bit bright it was almost like a white color and don't get me wrong i know i'm very light skinned but I'm not that light. It was basically like white or like gray. So with that, 
I just put my foundation color on it on the underside and I used a darker um, wig cap color and so that did make it a bit dark oh that's gross um on the flip side I haven't decided if I'm gonna do like a middle part or a side part or whatnot with this wig it's really curly so it's not like you know <gasps> oh okay i'm sorry i had barbecue this morning like i don't know what inspired me to have barbecue this morning that's some texas stuff right like only people in texas do that and so also i want to point out this wig is a 13 by 6 lace girl i'm trying to get back here it's turning so curly it's a 13 by 6 lace wig um I'm not sure how far back you guys can see. It goes back really, really far. That's my six wigs are like my favorite. Okay, so I found my big comb. Um, it doesn't really just tangle. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't just like tangle or anything of that sort just comb it through y'all like just comb it through don't like go crazy with it but like to like wake them curls up and then i'm just gonna add some more to the ends that it look a little dry with it like it looks like i have a dry piece of it so yeah that's the last thing i want i need my hair to be nice and uniform so should I do a part? No, I don't know, cause this hair is so pretty. But I'm just like, mm, do I want to do a part? I definitely don't want to do a middle part. I'm gonna do like a few side parts right here. I'm going in with a little bit of that Fenty in the color 300, and I'm just like lightly on the brush that over my part. Just to make it pop, this is what the part is looking like. After, uh, this is a quick part, y'all. Like, I'm probably gonna change this, but just to show y'all how much part of space you get. Yeah, so that foundation really did make it a lot more natural. And this is how she's looking, y'all. She's super cute. I'm loving this wave. Um, this is in the texture water wave. It is in there. Okay, let me show y'all the back. Ignore this. Like, I have to put plastic on my white chair because for some reason I made it a smart idea to do makeup in a white chair. Yeah, don't be like me, guys. Okay. This is what the back of this hair is looking like. That's the part. So, once again, this hair is from Ashmary. Ashmary. Um, Ashmary hair. I will leave all of the links to their website below and I will also leave a link to this exact wig that I have on my head. So pretty, so pretty y'all. I got some cotton stuck in my in my hair. I'm gonna have to pick that out later. Mm, that was a bad choice of words. <laughs> I have some cotton stuck in my hair from those al those um cotton pads that I use to put my alcohol and clean it. So yeah, let me just get that out of here. <laughs> um but so yeah, how y'all like it? Cause I'm, I'm like it. This lace, it was a project, but wrapping it extensively for a long period of time and a little bit of foundation to get it to match your skin. So in the next year, you're gonna be having it translucent or HD or transparent or whatever y'all are calling it. questions or comments, you can get them below, leave me on Instagram, follow me on all my social media apps. Please give me the 1K follower. It's probably not going to happen by the end of the year, but soon. 1K, subscribe. Um, we're also going to be next to you. You guys just So, with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up. Please subscribe, y'all. And, yeah, drop any comments, questions, anything you got down below. Hit me up on Instagram. If you don't want to leave me a comment, you can leave me up in my DM. I always respond. It may not be the quickest, but I try to respond.
been 24 hours, okay? I have two new weeks that you're coming up for you guys. And those will be up within the next few weeks. So, once again, thank you so much. I should make this video for you. It's beautiful. It's really, 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 really beautiful. I love it. You guys, did y'all think with this hair? Like, this hair is so pretty. And it bleached so well. Um... It bleached so well. With that being said, let me go ahead and get off this video so y'all can go watch something else. All right? Okay. Bye. Love you guys so much.